And today I'm going to do something slightly different and I'm going to do a versus video. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a freehand pinwheel versus a template pinwheel. I'm not going to overly explain. What I'll do instead is I'll link the videos for the freehand tutorial and the template based tutorial and you can decide which method works best for you. Like I said, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make them and you can see the difference in time and things like that and like I said, the level of concentration they take compared to the two versions and then you can decide which one's going to work best for you. So this is a bow, this is a pinwheel bow, like I said I like mine because I like mine to be nice and circular like this and obviously even freehand I am pretty good at keeping them fairly accurate and similar sizes, okay? So the first version I'm going to do is pinwheel, um, template version, and I'm going to use a 5 inch template and I what I do to measure is I don't measure, I don't have a set um, Measurement, what I do is I take them and I know what shape a pinwheel makes. So all I do is wrap it around my template in the shape that I need and then I'll cut off the value. Same if it was a four inch, I just wrap it around and do the measurement, the cut, the length that I need. So like if you're ever not sure on a template, that's all you have to do. Um, so like I said, I've got a five inch template. And I tend to start from the left for some reason, you can start from the right, it's entirely up to you. So take my template, and I always pin my first one round. Go round like this, round, round. Make sure your edges of your ribbon are lined up. And then clip this side. And this is what the front looks like, this is what the back. Like I said, I'm not going to overly explain, I'm just going to show you the difference in speed. Just moving it down a little bit just to get the last stitch <clears throat> on the stitch placement guide. Okay, slide it off my template. Cinch it all together. Wrap, make sure you stay around the middle where your stitch guides are to help balance your loops. Wrap round a couple of times, nice and tight, and then stitch off. In the back. I'm out the way for a second. And then, like I said, work out roughly how long I want my tails about a centimetre up from where the edge is. Same this side, take it this side. Obviously this one wasn't quite as long, it's a little bit less that side. Okay, they're fairly even. And I just adjust so that they all sit nicely like so. And take a bubble and some nine millimeter. A little bit of glue on the back. I always use the seal of the so the join line of the bubble there. Heat seal on nine mil. 
with the extra glue round the bubble I use that to do this because I'd make sure your loops stay three each side of your wrap wrap round at least twice one nice and tight two make sure it's the same round got a little bit extra cut that off heat seal there and glue down don't forget to heat seal your tails and the blue bit of the flame or the clear bit depending on what you can see and there you go it's one nice even quick template pinwheel now on my <coughs> freehand I am going to measure an inch in for my tail We're also going to do a five inch version for this, so it's exactly the same size as the other one. So we want to measure five inches from the first pin. There we go. And then using my pins as a guide, this is what I do. Like I said, not talking too much, just showing you how to make them the two versions. Line them up together. Put your crease in to get your sketch, stitch guide. There we go, can open that back up. needle and thread just make sure I've tied that off so I don't have to redo my work use your stitch line in your guide straight through once you have with everything as I am take my clips out and pins And then cinch together like so wrap round stitch off in the back however you personally prefer Like I said, decide how long you want your loops to be using your first one as a guide. Like I said, I'm going to do roughly one centimetre up, same as the other set. Like I said, remember you can do whatever you want with your tails, spiked, curved, straight, whatever visually appeals to you or that you know your customers like. 
I think I need to get some tin for all on my scissors to sharpen them up a little bit. There we go. So there's your freehand version. And again, we're just going to add a bobble to this one. You can see our middle. Touch of glue on the centre. Again, I always attach my bobbles where the line is. Use the extra glue there. Make sure your loops are both the same amount so you've got three on each side. Or two loops and a tail on each side. Wrap round twice, nice and tight. Make sure you can't see the original wrap of ribbon underneath the top version. Like so. Cut that extra off. Heat seal. Glue. Wrap. I'm just going to heat seal my edges because I forgot to do that in the blue bit of the flame. And there you go. There is your freehand version. There is your template version. As you saw, the difference in speed between the two. Once you sort of know what you're doing, they're probably roughly similar times. Like I said, I just prefer this version because, like I said to me, it's less thought or thought going in the process. I don't have to get so many clips out and everything that I need holding in, holding in place is already done on the template. Like I said, it can be done freehand just personal preference so hopefully you found this useful if you need any more help or advice i've got the facebook page and group in the links in the description below i'll also put the information about the two different tutorials if you want to see either of them um, for more detail and thanks for watching bye